Before getting started with coding, if you spend some time planning and drawing the basic structure or the wireframe of your website, you can save a lot of time in coding. So first of all, we will draw the basic structure of our website. So just grab a pen and paper and start drawing your design. Not in a detailed way, but just the structure. So here's the wireframe that I designed for the website. Now that we have the wireframe of our website ready, let's go ahead and choose the colors that we are going to use in our website. So let me show you some of the online services that you can use to choose color palettes. So this is one of the popular websites which is used for choosing colors. So what you can do is go to coolers.co and uh, click on start generator. And here we can see different colors and if you press space, we can change the color palette. So just keep pressing space until you get to a color palette that you want. So now what you can do is click on lock on one of these colors. So if I click on this color and uh, now if I press space, we can see that the color that we locked stays over here and the other colors change. So in this way, we can lock multiple colors that we want. And uh, you can also go ahead and uh, drag these colors to see how it looks side by side. And if you go over here, you have different shades of the color. You can choose the one you want. So this is basically a great tool for us to choose our colors. Now the other website that is mostly used is called uh, flatuicolors.com. So just go to this website and uh, we can see there are a lot of color palettes over here. Just go ahead and choose one of these. And we can see all these colors over here. If you click on one of these, it gets copied and uh, then you can paste it in your project. So this is basically how you can choose colors for your website. Now if you are a graphic designer, you already have a basic idea of colors and you can create your own color palette. Now the colors that we're going to use in this website are the following. Now that we have chosen the colors, let's go ahead and choose the fonts that we want. So we'll be using Google fonts in our website. It is free and uh, you don't even need to download the fonts to your system. You can just access it from the Google fonts website. So just go to fonts.google.com and uh, you'll get this list of all the fonts over here. Now you can search for the fonts in this search box. We're going to use just one font in our website. It is called Railway. This is the font. So you just have to click on this icon and if I click over here we can see we have this uh, railway font selected now we'll also select the bold version of this font so this is the font that we are going to use in our website now what you can do is go to embed and uh, copy this line of code from here and uh, you can paste it in your HTML file and in this way we can access the font